Now, I am not a professional piercer. However, I am a registered nurse, if that means anything to you. But nonetheless, I am not a professional piercer. I just did some research and decided to do this to myself. Now, are you ready? <laughs> My name is Jen. Let's go right on me. Always start with washed hands and make sure your face is cleaned. Be sure to clean your workstation. I clean mine with 70% alcohol. I also clean the piercing gun and the other utensils in the kit while letting the jewelry soak in the alcohol before I got ready to use it. First, we're gonna use the HIPAA Cleanse, which is an antiseptic and antimicrobial skin cleanser. Then I use a little bit of pressure going from a circular motion from the inside out. I follow that up with rubbing alcohol thereafter. Then you're gonna let that dry. Here's the marking pen that came in the kit and I'm going to use it to mark the place where I want my piercing to be. That looks perfect to me. Since I'm doing this at home, I'm going to be a little extra by lubricating the end of the needle with triple antibiotic ointment, which you can get also over the counter. Next, I use this instrument within the kit and I place it over the preferred marking on the skin right over the opening. I want to add also, do not have gloss on your lips because it makes it difficult for the instrument to stay where it needs to be. Before I got ready to insert the needle, I put the base of the earring by unscrewing it and putting it in the barrel of that needle. Here we go. I did it, but tell me why the needle looks slanted. <laughs> so now just hold the base of the earring down while you're pulling the rest of that needle out. So now I'm going to wipe around it and put antibiotic ointment around it as well and screw the base of the earring in. But I must say, it looks pretty centered to me despite the slanted angle that I took it through. <laughs> use the same steps for cleaning as before and mark it, but this time I'm going to use the piercing gun. Okay, I got this earring out of the soaking alcohol, wiped it off, also dipped it in triple antibiotic ointment. So now all I am doing is placing the earring in the barrel of that gun and also cock the lever of the gun. And then we're ready to go. I'm scared. I did it. For some reason, the gun seemed like it was jammed a little bit. But once I wiggled the gun slightly a little bit, the gun slid right on out. Here I'm placing the plastic back from the kit into that earring for security, but it was kind of hard because the earring was very long. I decided to use the piercing gun instead of the regular needle, only because I wanted it to be even and no slanted mishaps. Clean the area as previously shown. Also, be careful not to pierce too close to the face area for there are blood vessels there and nerves. And I'm not trying to mess up anything on my face. I'm going to stay in my lane and be safe. Align the marking point that you made with the needle point of the earring. That is how I targeted the area to pierce with all of the piercings. Hi 
babe, so I'm glad you made it this far. Now we're gonna go through some frequently asked questions that I felt was would be beneficial to you uh, and how to take care of these piercings. And I will also demonstrate how I take care of my piercings on a routine basis to prevent infection. So feel free to press pause and play at your leisure. It's bedtime for me. So let me show you how I made the cleaning solution first and then I'll show you my nighttime routine. And it's the same process for your morning routine as well. The on-the-go cleanser is something I like to use when I'm in a rush or if I just don't feel like soaking for that day. I mean, something is better than nothing, right? Here, I'm using a warm compress with that solution on a paper towel on my nose piercing as I'm cleaning and soaking my ears. After I brushed and flossed my teeth, I followed it up with a mouth rinse with this solution called Mouth Sore and it's great because after I gargled with it, my mouth felt very soothed and it's also great for wound healing and things of that nature. And it's alcohol free, so it was perfect. I keep that on the go container in the bathroom and when I go to the bathroom, I will clean my nose with it or my ears or, you know, just kind of wipe around the jewelry and also the jewelry itself on the top. Yeah. I use two different kits. I will put everything I use in the description box. One of the kits was what I had prior to when I did the debrette previously and it contained the needles. And the other one does not have the needles. It just has the piercing uh, jury. I'm going to give it about a month before I do out any change outs. And then I'll uh, come back and show y'all how I changed it out. This needle here at the bottom is a little too long. But I'm okay with that. Give me a little more wiggle room when I'm eating or whatever. I'm kind of okay with that in the healing stage. Ooh, I'm going to take me a little bit of ibuprofen or Tylenol or something because... I can feel some something. <laughs> now, this is where you come in. If you enjoyed this video and you learned from it and it gave you value that you can share with others, go ahead on and subscribe, like, and also share this content with other people. I'd greatly appreciate it. I love y'all. Y'all have a blessed, blessed day. See you later, babes.